Hey guys, check out this awesome playground we have to play with today. But before we start playing, we need some friends to come join us. Maybe we can find some friends to play with us inside this cool locking house. It has four different doors. Maybe it has four different friends that can come play with us on the playground. There's only one way to find out. Let's see who's behind the blue number one door. It's locked. We're going to need a way inside. How about we ring the doorbell? Maybe we can unlock the doors with these keys. We have four different keys, one for each door. This one has the number one on it. I wonder if it'll unlock the number one door. Let's try. Slide it in the lock like that, turn it, and now it's unlocked. Let's see who's inside. It's George Pig! The first friend to join us on the playground is gonna be a Weeble Wobble George. Let's spin him around, watch this. Whoa, he's getting really dizzy, but he's not falling down. That's pretty cool. All right, let's set George Pig right here in this little nook and find who our next friend is gonna be. Let's not forget to close the door back and lock it with our key. And now we can find our next friend by turning the house like this. All right, let's see who's behind the red number two door. I'll ring the doorbell. And now we can use our number two key. Let's slide it in the latch and turn it and see who we have. It's Peppa! Hey Peppa Pig! How cool is that that our next friend is going to be Peppa Pig? She can join her friend George and play with us on the playground. That should be a lot of fun. Let's see her dance. Whoa, she ran into George. I hope they're okay. And we can set her right next to George and they can spin together. So cool! I wonder what key we should use to open the number three door. This is the number one. That's not it. The number two, that won't do. Number three, that's the key we want. All right, let's open the number three purple door and see who's inside. First, I'll ring the doorbell. Here we go with the key. Who's it gonna be? It's Wendy Wolf. Hi, Wendy Wolf. Oh, look at how cute she is with her gray fur her purple shirt and purple pants, and her cute pointy ears. Hi, Wendy Wolf. Arr, arr, arr. All right, let's see Wendy Wolf weeble while she wobbles. Whoa, she's going pretty fast. Here you go, Wendy. Let's see them all spin at once. We have three going at the same time. I can't wait to see all four. And the last door is green with the number four on it. Hmm, who could be behind this door? I have the number four key ready to go right here. So let's ring the doorbell and find out who it is. It's Delphine Donkey. Come on out, Delphine. You're the last friend to come play with us on the playground. Here she goes. Whoa, she went pretty fast. That's pretty cool. All right, let's set her here and see if we can get all four friends spinning at the same time. Wendy Wolf's going crazy and George is about to fall down. That's pretty funny. All right, guys, are you ready to play on the playground? Yeah! Me too! Delphine Donkey and Wendy Wolf want to play on the merry-go-round. So let's put them here and we can turn this flower and watch them spin. Whoa, that looks like a lot of fun. Now Peppa and George want to play. <laughs> All right, Peppa wants to play in the muddy puddle. Splish, splash, splish, splash, sploosh. <laughs> it looks like Peppa got mud on her shirt, but that's okay, we're here to have fun. Little Georgie Pig wants to swing on the swing. Oh, he needs some help. Can somebody push George? I'll do it. Thank you, Delphine. So much fun George is having. Guys, what do you think this conveyor belt does? I think there's only one way to find out. Peppa wants to give it a shot. Let's put her here and start turning the crank. Up she goes. That's so cool, they go up the ramp and then down the slide. 
I bet our other friends want to play too. Here's Delphine, George, and Windy Wolf. Let's add them all to the top. Whoa, whoa, they made a big mess, but they look like they had a lot of fun. And look, there's three of them on the merry-go-round. Let's spin them around. Whoa, only two can fit, so Windy Wolf fell off. I bet they want to play some more. George wants to go down the slide. Delphine wants to jump in the muddy puddle. And Wendy wants to climb all the way to the top. Whoa, whoa! Peppa, George, home time! Alright guys, Mummy Pig says it's time to go home. Peppa wants to drive home in her toy car. Hooray! Let's load up her friends. Wendy Wolf. Delphine Donkey. George Pig. And Peppa. All right guys, everybody's ready to go home. Can you help me remember who goes behind the green number four door? I think it was Delphine Donkey. Let's ring the doorbell and unlock the door so she can go inside and get cleaned up for dinner. Bye Delphine, thanks for playing. Now for the number three purple door. Any idea which of our friends lives behind the number three purple door? I think George. No, that's not right. I think Wendy Wolf. And Wendy Wolf has a purple shirt, so that was a clue. All right, Wendy, time to go home with your family. See you later. All right, now for the number two red door. Do you think it's George, who's blue, or Peppa, who's red? I think it's Peppa. And Peppa needs to go home and get cleaned up because she got some mud on her shirt. Hooray! All right, Peppa, it's time to get cleaned up. In you go. Have fun with your bath. All right, our last door is the blue number one. And the blue number one is for George Pig. All right, George Pig. <laughs> dinosaur! George loves dinosaurs. That's why he's got one in his hand at all times. All right, George, time to go inside. I'll see you later. Make sure to say hi to Daddy Pig for me. Bye. Look kids, here comes a train to take Peppa and her family to the zoo. But first we'll need some cars. Here's a cute flower one with a real working swing. And it goes back and forth as it rolls. Oh wow, look at this star one. It has a dinosaur on top that rocks when it rolls. And here we have a heart shaped one with a spinning horsey that goes round and round as it rolls. But first we're going to need passengers for our train and I think they just might be in this house. I wonder who's behind this blue door with the number one on it. Let's start by ringing the doorbell. And now we can use our number one key to unlock the door. We'll just put it in the keyhole, give it a turn, and now the door's unlocked. And look at that, it's Peppa. Isn't she cute? And since Peppa's gonna have a special day at the zoo, she wants to wear a special outfit. Oh, how cute, a red dress with pink hearts. Now let's see what car Peppa should ride in. How about the engine? No, that won't do. Peppa's too young to drive. What about this cute horsey one? It has a heart that matches the heart on Peppa's dress and she really loves horsies. I think this is the one. Let's sit her in her seat and she's ready to go. And she can ride right here behind the engine. Choo -choo 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 -choo. But we still need the rest of the passengers. So let's see who's behind the red number two door. We'll ring the doorbell. And now we can use our number two key to unlock the door. I wonder who's behind this one. Look kids, it's Mummy Pig. 
She can't wait to go to the zoo either. And she'd like to put on something nice just like Peppa. Wow, a yellow sundress with white flowers. What do you think, Mummy Pig? Do you want the dinosaur car? No thanks. Oh, okay. How about this cute flower one with a swing? Mummy Pig loves this one because the flower matches her dress. Here you go, Mummy Pig. You can sit right here and swing all you want. And her train car can go right here behind Peppa's. Now our train is starting to get pretty long. Now who do you think will be behind the purple number three door? Let's ring the doorbell and find out. We'll need our trusty keys with the number three key to unlock this door. Here we go. Let's give it a little turn and find out who's inside. Hey guys, it's Peppa's little brother, George. Let's think of something he can wear. George, what is your favorite animal you might find at the zoo? T-Rex. Oh, I don't think a T-Rex will be at the zoo. Can you try something else? Do I say what's up? Um, I don't think there's gonna be any dinosaurs at this zoo. It's not Jurassic Park. Can you think of one more animal that might be at the zoo? Monkey. Great, George, a monkey might be at the zoo. And since George loves dinosaurs so much, our dinosaur car would be perfect for him. In you go, George. Rawr! Wow, nice dinosaur roar you have there, George. We'll put you here. And now all four cars of our train are connected. But we still need an engine driver. Maybe we can find one in the house. Now let's see who could be behind our green number four door. We'll need our last key, the number four, to unlock this number four door. I hope whoever's inside will make a good engine driver. Hey, looky there, it's Daddy Pig. I think Daddy Pig wants to bring a camera to the zoo. All right, now he can snap some cool shots while he's there. Let's pull the train back. Beep, beep, beep. And now Daddy Pig can ride in the engine car. Now let's just send him inside the train. And we can use our magic wand to send the train off to the zoo. Whoa, look at him go. All right, they made it. Welcome to the zoo. Hop on off and follow me to the boat and you can find your first animal. Very good, right this way. All right, children, just hop on the boat and you can find your first animal. Monkey. Hmm, a monkey you say? Well, we'll see what it could be. I can't wait to go on the boat. All right, now that Peppa and George are on the boat, Let's spin them around to see what's on the other side of the pond. It's not a monkey at all. Peppa's right, it's a panda. Pandas are black and white animals that live all the way in Asia. They love to eat bamboo, which is the world's biggest grass. They look like bears, but they're actually more like raccoons. Now let's send Peppa and George back around to the other side of the pond. Hey, look at that, another animal. It's a hippopotamus, which means water horse, but you can call them hippo for short. They're big animals from Africa and they love to swim in water. Now Peppa and George have already seen two cool animals at the zoo. Did you enjoy your little boat ride? Yeah, but where is the monkey? Aw, oh, don't worry, we have a monkey at the zoo, but for now, let's go look at another animal. Righto, if you look over here, you'll see the pride of the zoo, an elephant. That's right, kids. An elephant is the world's largest land animal. A full-grown one can weigh 14,000 pounds. This one's still young, but when it's full-grown, it'll be huge. Daddy, he's even bigger than you. Why, Peppa, I think you're right. Let me snap a picture of him. <laughs> he just got us soaking wet. Oh yes, my apologies. Our elephant is very camera shy. Coming in for a landing. Look, it's Miss Rabbit. You kids go with her for a treat. Come on kids, hop on. Yay, a helicopter ride. Woohoo. Up, up and away. There you can see a parrot from South America. The parrot is one of the few animals that can learn to say words. Hello, Peppa and George. This one has learned your names. Bye, parrot. Now we'll come around here and hop out. Oops, there goes the helicopter. That's the third one I've lost this week.
Miss Rabbit, look! A lion! Aren't they dangerous? Ordinarily, yes. But this is a zookeeper's cousin, Gerald, and he's very friendly. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. Wow, what a neat animal. Can we learn about him? Sure thing, kids. Lions are big cats that live in Africa. They're called carnivores, which means they eat meat. Boys have manes like this one, and the girl ones don't. But where is a monkey? Come on, kids, follow me around here. I have something to show you. Here we are. Huh? Don't be shy, hop on. Come on, George. Okay. All right, say hello to the monkey for me. Eee. Oh no, Miss Rabbit, the monkey isn't here. Did you hear that, Mr. Lion? The monkey is missing. Oh dear, that's quite an emergency. Let me see what the computer says. Hmm, it seems the monkey is hiding somewhere in the zoo. Can you kids at home find her? Sure, Mr. Lion. We'd love to help you find the monkey. Let's see, there's the hippo. And the elephant. And there's the parrot. But where's the monkey? Wait a second. What's that behind the bush? There's the monkey. We found her. The monkey is a primate and is very mischievous. And they even have tails that they can use like hands to grab things. Now let's put this silly monkey back where it belongs. Yay, monkey! Wow, guys, George finally got to see his favorite animal at the zoo, and I hope you did, too. Bye, guys. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Bye.